Hi, my name is Josie, and thank you very much for tuning back. Um, as we have been uh, talking about uh, different issues uh, that we as transgender people we actually face, I would like to, in correlation with gender identity and sexual orientation, I would like to say something like uh, the question that I often get asked is that if I'm a trans woman, a, a guy feels extremely attracted to me, does that make him gay? Um, not really. Uh, he's just attracted to the femininity within me. S same as uh, lesbians, they actually like hit on me like very often. And um, they're like, I just want, I really would like to get to know you. But uh, whether it's male or female or anything in between, I just let them know firsthand I'm I'm trans. When usually when I tell lesbians that, uh, they're actually more perplexed than uh, the man. A guy would be like, "Whoa, damn." Um, Oh, <laughs> but then a lesbian is like, I did not know. And I'm like, okay, so you want to keep on talking or shall I dismiss this conversation? So I'm very upfront, and the reason why I'm very upfront to, to the issue is, one, I don't care. Two, I'm out. So who gives a crap if people label me or they say like, oh, that's a trans girl. I don't care. Uh, so in that way, actually, they're there is the mis that mystery is basically just taken away and if uh, whereas if you don't tell the person then you don't ever know how fast the uh, relationship or a uh, rapport will be able to develop how fast will be able to develop and then uh, next thing you know is like uh, you have a snowball effect, you have no way of telling the person or the heart to tell them that you are trans and they want to get it on with you. So, extremely, extremely tricky. So that's why I opt to actually say it right away. And I never approach people usually people approach me and if we're in a conversation counselor conversation and stuff like that then that's that's fine but i usually don't approach people like hey hi how you doing you know i don't because i think that actually that's kind of cruel and trying to trick people and uh i've known Girls that actually go out there and have a date, the guy has no idea that they're trans. The guy and they get into this makeout section and it's just like heavily like the devil blushes when he sees that kind of action, you know. Um, but they never, they don't have sex, but it's like uh, they're just really heavily making out. Um, I think that's extremely cruel. Uh, just for the fact that one, the person doesn't know. Second, you should have told them. Third, that's how trans women actually get killed. Beat up to death or shot or run over. Uh, it's, it's, it's a very dangerous realm, girl. 
details, you have to understand that. Um, I'm old enough, like I said, so I really don't care. I really don't. I, uh, so, if they want to say like, hey, well, that's that's the trans girl, blah, 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 and stuff like that. If they want to start making fun of me, it's like, all right, somebody's going to have to pay for this thing, you know. Um, so, you have, if you are honest for, if, like, at the beginning, and then the mystery is open is is known there's no mystery and you are able to really just be yourself uh, you don't have to hide anything uh, if you're a trans man that's fine too don't hide anything uh, trans men I find them extremely charming uh, very nice, very, very groovy, and all that kind of stuff. Usually, all the trans men are like that. I actually, I actually, uh, it's kind of like, it's kind of like having a lesbian, but uh, without all the craziness <laughs> and super groovy. So that has been my experience with a uh, trans man. Is that they're actually really, really nice, really, really nice man. Um, and like I said, is like, uh, so women out there would be like, so does that make me lesbian? I'm like, no, sweetie, you're actually attracted to the uh, masculinity of a trans man. And, uh, you are just being attracted for, to the person. And uh, I guess that this is part of the, uh, uh, kind of like a sexual epoch that we're living right now where as we're able to explore a little bit more of a sexuality we understand that it is there's more complex world out there that we actually anticipated and not just because there is a, a trans woman out there that means that she has to like men or anyone in particular she could be asexual, uh, or she could be pansexual, meaning that she also likes other trans women or trans men. Doesn't matter. We're people all together, and if uh, if you're if you know a, a trans woman out there, and she is. Uh, She's being nice and stuff like that, and uh, you don't know, you think that you know that she likes men, uh, think twice. She could be either or. So, in synthesis, sexuality is extremely complex. And transgender people are actually also subject to those type of complexities. Like I said, if you don't disclose something's information like right away, like to a given enough, like to a, a safe time, um, I don't want to see you in trouble. But again, be smart. If uh, you carry on this snowball for a long time and uh, you're in the middle of it, just kind of sort of run away and you're like, I'm sorry, I, I'm just having my period. I gotta go. And most guys there will be like, Ooh, your period. Ugh. Yakety yak. Don't do back. So, make an excuse, whatever, why not, and then, like, uh, regroup yourself and then just, just let them know. Because if you, you don't really know how they're gonna react, it's extremely, extremely dangerous. And I usually only tell people uh, upfront, like I said, if they approach, if they approach me, 
I tell them on the side without anybody else hearing that. And so in that way, it's like it's just between me and him, and that's it. I tell them in a, in a public space. So if there's any issues, if it comes down to, to uh, punches, then all right, so let's, let's, let's do this, but uh, somebody's gonna get kicked out, you know? And be really careful because people and sexual desires and all the emotion involved with it is extremely, extremely volatile. So be careful. Again, love yourself, be good to one another, and put a smile on your face. And I guess that I'll see you guys later on. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna be talking about. Or uh, you can also drop a, a comment and ask some questions and stuff like that. So I will be trying to make a theme out of those questions. All right. Thank you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.